Tonight we are learning more about the accused 18-year-old gunman and the lead-up to the school shooting. Boston 25 News reporter Wale Aliyu is here in Wale. He sent text messages and made social media posts before this happened. Yeah, Vanessa, tonight we know the alleged shooter posted three times on Facebook about the attack. New tonight, chilling text messages from the suspect to a woman in Germany. And we warn you, they are disturbing. You were looking at the text conversation captured just moments before the 18-year-old suspect would attempt to kill his grandmother, then, in his words, shoot up an elementary school. You know what I'm going to do right now, he writes? Tell me, is the response. I can't, because my grandpa hasn't left. I'm waiting for this dude to leave. Shortly after 11 a.m. Texas time, the suspect complains about his grandmother and his phone bill. I'm waiting for this expletive. I'm gonna do something to her right now. She's on with AT&T about my phone. It's annoying. Five minutes pass, and then I just shot my grandma in her head. I'm gonna go shoot up an elementary school right now. That last message sent at 11.21 a.m. 11 minutes later, police received their first call of a shooting at Robb Elementary School. The person on the receiving end of the text, a 15-year-old girl in Germany, she had never met him in person. They connected through a live streaming app called Yubo, then FaceTimed, texted. He even sent her videos of himself. And she's not the only person he was communicating with. The shooter's Instagram account showed a photo of two AR-style weapons and tagged another young woman who he messaged the morning of the shooting saying, I'm about to, but didn't finish his sentence and I got a little secret. The teenage girl from Germany says her only communication with the suspect was through social media and gaming apps, and we're learning more tonight about the investigation. According to a man who lives across the street from the Robb Elementary School crash, he says he saw the shooter crash a truck, grab his AR-15, shoot at two people, and then run into the school. He says onlookers then urged police officers to charge into the school after they did not rush in at first. Today, the shooter's grandfather apologized to the families of the victims. As soon as any new developments come in, we will bring them right to you. For now, in the studio tonight, Wale Aliyu, Boston, 25 tonight. Wale, thank you. Consumer reporting is such a broad topic. It hits so many things, from tech to shopping tips to safety concerns. So it affects all of us at some point. And if there's something happening somewhere that could either cost you money, could hurt you, or could...